Hi everyone, it's Megan here. I got a request from someone on my channel to do a like how to prep your um, diamond painting before you work on it. And I've been having a lot of technical difficulties, um, so I apologize I haven't posted a video in a little bit. Um, my phone and stuff just keeps getting full and I keep deleting stuff and everything and it just won't work the way I want it to so I apologize about that but I'm glad that people are still watching and still diamond painting and enjoying themselves it seems like um, <clears throat> so here I have my most current work in progress um, I'm working on two right now one of them is this um, smaller one of my five-piece wave mural for my mom um, so I've got that far done and I, I finished the left hand one the one on the left the small one on the left isn't that pretty I was worried it was gonna be really pixelated but I've caught my it's caught my eye across the room a few times and um, it's looking really good so here's the the other the very right hand side the two smaller ones um, the drills were combined in the same bag so I had to do the two smaller ones before I could move on to the bigger ones and the two medium sized ones are also sharing a bag so I'm gonna have to do those together too so um, this is my current work in progress it's a little elephant with um, blowing out some colors and it's for my friend I'm gonna live with. He loves elephants, and um, he's all about um, marching to the beat of your own drum and um, showing your true colors and everything like that. So I thought this would be a perfect kind of housewarming gift for both of us, but for him mainly. So the first thing I did was I put my drills into jars. I already did that, but I wanted to show you. This had 40 colors. Um, I also used my label maker to write elephant, because that's what I'm calling this one. And I have a bag also that says elephant on there for my extras, and I'll talk to you about that in a minute. So this has 40 colors, and I write that on here on my sheet so that I know how many jars I'm gonna need and what kind of storage system I'm gonna use. So this kit, this little container came with 28 jars and two of them are these larger jars, which is really nice for the more colors that you have. So I've um, used my label maker to put the DMC code and also to use as tape and I just put my sticker right on, I cut it right off of this sheet. I made a copy of, the, this is the copy, and I cut up the original and I put it right on the jar like that. And I think many of you know by now that I, I, I like to do that. But this only has 28. So then I also used three of the four little containers. Um, so there's 12 of these all together um, and the reason why I did that was because I obviously didn't have enough of these and these ones I chose colors to go into these little containers um, that I didn't have very many of so like N N is a 720 it only has one bag of that so I put it in this one I've also labeled each of the, the sides of each of these little containers of the say elephant so I know like if I left these on the table or something because sometimes I'm silly like that and I do stupid things um, that I know where those belong. Now I want you to be cautioned to using these and to fumbling with them like this. These can pop open easily. That's the only problem I find with them, also that they they don't hold very much, but I do really like them because they complete my sets really nicely. You just have to be really careful when you're handling them because they tend to pop open. I haven't had that happen to me yet, knock on wood, but um, I, it feels like it can happen and I just see it happening. 
I'm a preschool teacher. I think that's kind of my job is to predict the future. Um, so then in this bag, I've put all my extras that wouldn't fit into these jars. So this is a zero right here. So I had to put the extras in a baggie. This is a two by three, I believe. But some of them didn't need as big of a bag, so I used a smaller bag. Um, but there's a lot of, like, I think I have V, the fourth, no, the U's, 318s. I think I have like four of these bags. So that's this big one right here, and I'll just have to keep refilling it and refilling it, which is fine. But since I have this baggie here of all my extra drills for this project, to keep it all contained, I've just been placing these like in here gently and then just not, you know, being really rough on it or anything. Okay, moving on from the drills. I did that. And then what I did was this, this, cover paper was cut in in half so there's two sections but I went ahead and I sort of divided it into doable manageable sections um, I can always go just a little bit if I needed just to do a little bit this this big of a section right here takes me about two hours to do um, this one looks a little bit bigger than these though so this probably took me a little bit longer but I like to work um, continentally, but I was surprised at how many colors are in here for a seemingly black and white picture. This is the bottom right here. I don't see any colors in that, do you? <laughs> so this, there's pinks and purples and um, lots of stuff, so, and there's light. It's, this isn't even a white, it's like a green, like a mint green color. Um, maybe I can bring you down for just a second to show you that you see that so yeah it's really interesting um anywho so after I um figured out the sections I wanted I cut the paper and I only cut it up to about here about how big my iPad my sorry my light pad was and I used a ruler. If you're interested in seeing how to cut the cover paper, I did up, upload a video a while back called How to Cut the Cover Paper. So look, if you want to know how to do that, go ahead and look that up. And I've also done it over here just to have it all done on this side. And as I keep going, you know, I'll, I'll keep it going more. So this is the bottom of the painting. And what I've done is I've, to keep it manageable, and I've actually been able to do this on my couch I t went to the Dollar Tree the do um, the actual store called the Dollar Tree it is a dollar store where everything is actually a dollar and I picked up pool noodles two pool noodles and I cut it down to size to fit my canvas I also got a package of cl these clips I think there were eight in the package so I just got two of these like clamps and so what I do is I just roll it up onto the pool noodle evenly up until, so here's where I'm working and I want it, I don't want to really bend it, bend it. So I give it some space. And then on the edge, I just gently clamp it like that. I'll do it on this side too. And so far, I don't think it damages any of the glue or anything like that. So I think it's good. And then it's ready to go and it's ready to start getting worked on. So anyway, I just thought I would share that with you. Um, and I'll do more, more videos as I have less technical difficulties. Um, it's been a huge headache, but yeah. So I'm still kicking, I'm still around, I'm still painting, I'm still working my butt off, and uh, don't worry, nothing happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know if you have any other questions or anything, um, or if you have an easier way to do things, um, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.